Shalom, my brothers and my sisters. The Book of Jasher, 47, chapter 47. Incredible. You know why I wanted to read um, extra biblical books? Because I noticed that really s- smart people that, that study the scriptures a lot read them. And I was like, oh my gosh, they know so much. And now I feel like I do too. <laughs> All right, so praise Yah, because this is a really, I thought this was really cool, so I'm just going to share it with whoever wants to. And just read the book of Jasher 47, and it talks about Esau despising the birthright again. Oh my gosh. All right, so, you know. <clears throat> and <clears throat> Yitzhak, son of Abraham, was still living in the land of Canaan in those days. And he was very aged, 180 years old. And Esau, his son, the brother of Yaakov, was in the land of Edom. And he and his sons um, had possessions in it among the children of Seir. And Esau heard that his father's time was drawing near to die. And he said, and he and his sons and household came to the land of Canaan to his father's house. And Yaakov and his sons went out from the place where they dwelt in Hebron. And they all came to their father Yishak. And they found Esau and his sons in the tent. And Yaakov and his sons sat before his father Yishak. And Yaakov was still mourning for his son Yosef. And Yishak said to Yaakov, Bring me your sons here, and I will barach them. And Yaakov brought his eleven children before his father Yishak. And Yishak placed his hand on all the sons of Yaakov, and he took hold of them and embraced them and kissed them one by one. And Yishak barach them on that day and said to them, May the Elohim of your fathers baruch you and increase your seed like the stars of the Shamaim for number. And Yishak also Baruch the sons of Esau, saying, May Elohim cause you to be a dread and a fear to all that will see you and to all your enemies. And Yishak called Yaakov and his sons, and they all came and sat before Yishak. And Yishak said to Yaakov, Yahuwah, Elohim of the whole earth, said to me, to your seed, I will give this land for an inheritance if your children keep it, if your children keep my laws and my way and my ways, and I will establish unto them the oath which I swore to your father Abraham, Now, therefore, my son, teach your children and your children's children to revere Yahuwah and to go in the good way, which will please Yahuwah, your Elohim. For if you keep the ways of Yahuwah and his laws, Yahuwah will also guard to you his covenant with Abraham and will do well with you and your seed all the days. And then, and when Yishak had finished commanding Yaakov and his children, he breathed his last and died and was gathered to his people. And Yaakov and Esau fell on the face of their father Yishak, and they wept. And Yishak was 180 years old when he died in the land of Canaan and in Hebron. And his sons carried him to the cave of Machpelah, which Abraham had bought from the children of Heth, 
for a possession for, as a burial place. And the sovereigns of the land of Canaan went with e Jacob and Esau to bury Yishak. And all the sovereigns of the Canaan showed Yishak great honor at his death. And the sons of Yaakov and the sons of Esau went barefoot around about walking and lamenting until they reached uh, Kirath Arba. And Yaakov and Esau buried their father Yishak in the cave of Machpelah, which is in Kirath Arba in Hebron. And they buried him with very great honor as at the burial of sovereigns. And Jacob and his sons and Esau and his sons and all the sovereigns of Canaan made a great and heavy lamentation and they buried him and mourned for him many days. And at the death of Yishak, he left his cattle and his possessions and all belonging to him to his sons. And Esau said to Jacob, Please see all that our father has left. We will divide in two parts. And I will have the choice. And Yaakov said, We will do so. And Yaakov took all that Yishak had left in the land of Canaan, the cattle and the property, and he placed them in two parts before Esau. And his sons. And he said to Esau. See all this is before you. Choose for yourself. The half which you will take. And Yaakov said. Esau. Please hear what I will speak to you. Saying. Yahuwah. Elohim of the Shamaim. And earth. Spoke to our fathers. Abraham and Ishak. Saying to your seed. I will give this land as an inheritance forever. Now, therefore, all that our father has left is before you. And see, all the land is before you. Choose from them what you desire. If you desire the whole land, take it for your, for you and your children forever. And I will take this wealth. But if you desire the wealth, take it for yourself. And I will take this land for me and for my children to inherit it forever. And Nebaioth, son of Ishmael, was, de was then in the land with his children. And Esau went on that day and consulted with him, saying, Thus has Yaakov spoken to me, and thus he has answered me. Now give your advice, and I will hear. And Nebaioth said, What is this that Yaakov has spoken to you? See, all the children of Canaan are dwelling safely in their land, and Yaakov says he will inherit it with his seed all the days? Go now, therefore, and take all your father's wealth and leave Yaakov, your brother, in this, in the land as he has spoken. And Esau rose up and returned to Yaakov and did all that Neboyoth, son of Ishmael, had advised. And Esau took all the riches that Yishak had left the mm -hmm. uh, the begins the beans the beast the cattle and the property and all the wealth he gave nothing to his brother Yaakov and Yaakov took all the land of Canaan from the wadi of Mitraim to the river Perath and he took it for an everlasting possession and for his children and for his seed after him forever. 
Yaakov also took from his brother Esau the cave of Machpelah, which is in Hebron, which Abraham had bought from Ephron for a possession as a burial place for him and his seed forever. And Yaakov wrote all these matters in the book of purchase. And he signed it and he witnessed all with all this with four trustworthy witnesses. And these are the words which Yaakov wrote in the book saying, The land of Canaan and all the cities of the Hittites, the Hewites, the Yebusites, the Amorites, the Parasites, and the Girgashites, all the seven nations from the river of Mitraim to the river Peroth, and the city of Hebron, Kiriath Arba, and the cave which is in it, the whole the whole Yaakov brought from his brother Esau, bought from the whole Yaakov bought from his brother Esau for value, for a possession, and as an inheritance for his seed after him forever. And Yaakov took the book of purchase and the signature, the command and the laws, and the revealed book. And he placed them in an earthen vessel, in order that they should remain for a long time. And he delivered them into the hand of his children. Esau took all that his father had left him after his death from his brother Yaakov, and he took all the property for man from man and beast, camel and donkey, ox and lamb, silver and gold, stones and bellium, and all the wealth which had belonged to Yishak, son of Abraham. There was nothing left which Esau did not take for himself. For from all that Yishak had left after his death, and Esau took all this. And he and his children went home to the land of Seir, the Horite, away from the, his brother Yaakov and his children. And Esau had possessions among the children of Seir. And Esau did not return to the land of Canaan from that day onward. And the whole land of Canaan became an inheritance to the children of Israel as an everlasting inheritance. And Esau, with all his children, inherited the Mount of Seir. Boom! He turned down the land blessing from Yahuwah. Uh, again. Again. For what? For the materialness. Isn't that, isn't that like, oh my goodness, he didn't, he had, he had, he had another chance to get the, the promise that, you know, the, the blessing, mm-hmm. and he turned it down, it just shows what kind of, where his heart is, and plus he went, he went to ask Ishmael, son, for advice on what he should do, it's like, I don't know, you're not in the covenant, oh, you want to tell me what to do, what, 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 what would you, what would you, Obviously, crazy, huh? Y'all bless you, my brothers and my sisters. And the faith! Remember, the promised land is ours! Sons of Elohim! Hallelujah!